In this Tower of Fantasy video, I'm going to give you a few tips for crafting SR and SSR mattresses. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel for more Tower of Fantasy videos, and after this video is over, browse my channel for more helpful guides and general Tower of Fantasy gameplay. To begin crafting weapon ships in Tower of Fantasy, you will have to use the game's build mode feature. To get to build mode, select it from the menu, and from there, you will be taken off to Artificial Island. In Artificial Island, you must build your base and different houses to begin crafting weapon ships. To build and upgrade your buildings, you will need to farm resources from enemies found everywhere on this map. There are three different types of enemies, bosses, mobs, and wildlife. Defeating bosses gets you the main resources you need to build and upgrade your buildings in the form of quality and composite materials. Bosses spawn every seven days with the timer starting the second that you defeat that boss. Mobs spawn three days with the same sort of timer. Mobs yield different resources when defeated depending on where you encounter them, but overall it should be your goal to clear out every mob camp you find as soon as possible to collect their resources so you can upgrade your buildings as fast as possible. Wildlife spawns every three days as well after you defeat them and they are scattered throughout the map. Defeating wildlife always gives you accessory materials which are probably the third most valuable resources you will collect in build mode. So I suggest farming them just as much as the mobs because the amount of accessory mats you need in this place can get pretty hefty. There are four main houses to build and upgrade. The pumpkin house, the kitty house, the turtle house, and the pawpaw house. Each of these houses are attached to specific SSR mattresses when you are ready to start crafting. Other buildings are the development center and the machine pod. To begin crafting SR chips, your development center must be level 3 or higher, and crafting them takes resources. To craft, you will need to head to the workshop. Crafting or fusing takes a lot of resources, and weapon chips are not guaranteed whenever you fuse, so that is why it's an extremely bad idea to try and craft anything without first raising the level of your buildings to at least level 7 or higher. When you create buildings, they will naturally start farming resources for you to collect whenever you visit them after an appropriate time has passed. The higher the level of your building, the more resources they will yield. To upgrade your houses, you must first upgrade your development center because your house levels cannot exceed the development center's level. The turtle house and the machine pot are probably the most important buildings in your island because they produce accessory materials and metal materials. Next is the pumpkin house because it produces fiber materials, an item needed to upgrade your machine pod. It's best to begin and continue construction on your artificial island with a clear SSR chip goal in mind so you can collect and allocate resources properly and efficiently. Each house is associated with specific SSR weapon chips and you can begin attempting SSR crafts when a house reaches level 5. The turtle house is associated with two SSR chips, Coco Ritter's SSR chips which are for healing and Zero's SSR chips which have to do with shielding and support. The machine pod, while not a house, allows you to craft SSR chips as well starting at level 5. With the machine pod, you can craft King's SSR chips and Huma's SSR chips. The pumpkin house grants you the ability to craft the SSR chips for Shiro and Meryl. The Paul Paul house gives you Samir and Tsubasa. And finally, the kitty house gives you Crows and again Meryl's chips. I'd suggest getting each house to level 3 at least and then focus on the house you want SSR chips from, upgrading that house and the development center only until they reach level 7 or higher. It's all still very RNG and you'll have the best probability of crafting an SSR chip when your chosen house and development center reaches level 9. If damage is your goal, Pumpkin and Kitty House should be one of the first houses you aim to upgrade the fastest. If it's the support you're looking for, the Turtle House is what you want to upgrade first. Check back daily to collect your resources and farm every enemy every three days to maximize your resource totals. You will only get quality and composite materials from bosses and they spawn every seven days, so spend those resources wisely. Only use them to upgrade your buildings. The exchange store can be helpful, but in all honesty, I believe they put it there so it can delay how fast you build your artificial island, so use it seldomly and only when you absolutely need to. You can exchange composite materials for quality materials and vice versa, but it's not a perfect exchange rate, and you will lose materials by doing this, so only use this option if you have enough to cover any losses and can continue doing whatever you were doing. If you found these tips helpful, I'd really appreciate a like on the video, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments. My name is Vinicius Gian, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.